Number 80. What is the peak current through a 500 watt room heater that operates on 120 volts of alternating current power? Um, all right. So they want to find the peak current. They're giving us a wattage. They're giving us a voltage. And uh, what we have to do is we have to have a, a formula that relates some of these variables. All right. And we know this formula that the average power will be equal to supplied or consumed by the object will be equal to one half multiplied by the peak current multiplied by the peak voltage. Now, this is the wattage of the room heater, all right? Uh, that, by definition, they give you average values. So this represents the average. How would you know that? I have no idea, but it now you do. So the average power here uh, that is being consumed by the room heater is gonna be 500 watts. The voltage supplied by the outlet is also going to be the root mean square voltage, AKA almost, that's basically the same thing as kind of saying average voltage, all right? But it has a slightly different meaning because it's alternating current. It goes and oscillates like a sine wave and root mean square, you know, blah, 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 blah. Now, um, what, what I then realize is I have to find peak current and I have in my formula here, peak current already, here it is. So now what I need to do is I have to solve that for peak current, right? So I can simply basically uh, take this one half, bring it into the denominator, or I can bring just the two on up into the numerator. I gotta bring the peak voltage on down into the denominator. So in other words, we're realizing that this will become two times the average power all divided by the peak voltage. I don't know peak voltage though, but I know root mean square voltage. So what is the relationship between the two? We've seen this now already, right? That the root mean square, and this is gonna be memorized, is equal to the peak voltage divided by root of two. Same thing could have been said for the current. So instead of writing your Vs there, you could have written Is. We don't need that though for this particular problem. So now what I wanna do is solve this for V sub P. So you're just simply gonna do a cross multiplication here. And this is root mean square multiplied by root of two. Take that now, substitute it on in, and voila. So there's gonna be two times that average power of 500 watts, divided then by the root mean square volt, uh, voltage, which was 120 volts, multiply then by uh, root of two. And let's see what we get, okay? So this is going to be now two times 500 divided then by parenthesis 120 times the root of two. Nope, oh, messed that up, one second. So this works out to be about 5.89 now, 5.89 uh, amps. Guys, thanks for tuning in, hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Tell your friends, hit the like button, and we'll see you soon. Take care.